Down the wicket, high, very high. When he hits them high, they normally go long as well. That's big. Ninety-four. He moves to now. When he gets a chance to free the arms and swing through the line of the ball. Down the wicket. As he bowls, hundred and six. I think he has. Put your bat in the air, Craig McMillan. That is the fastest hundred in New Zealand one-day history. What a blinder! Gladiator is back. It took seven years, but he's back with a vengeance. And he didn't know. He had no idea. It took Brendan McCullum to tell him that he scored 100 for McMillan to show this excitement and well played. Here it is. The shot that brought up the fastest one day 100 in New Zealand history. What an innings. Took him a while to work it out. I think he had to be told. Oh! Well, this has gone very fine. It's such a fast outfit. Don't chase it. You'll never catch it. Oh, he's got to turn. He's got to turn. He's a big man. He gets back. Well, McCallum, let's have a look. Well, the ball's coming back to Hogg now. McMillan dives. If it hits, he's gone. He's out. There it is. Well done, Craig McMillan. Look at that. 90 from 78. And he's got the hook shot out. And he's hit it well. Where's that gone? It's going to fall short. Oh. Hooked away. Oh, magnificent. That is absolutely magnificent batting. Notice the way he got on top and he hit it straight into the ground. Well, that's another good stroke. Comfortable too. Yep. Just the one. I'll tell you what, uh, McCullum raises his back. And the Hamilton crowd are on their feet, and why not? Oh, oh. McCullum. Oh, brilliant. He's taken up the initiative here. I think McMillan's tied off the middle of the bat in the slot. He was always going down the ground. Outstanding stroke. 117 to his name. He's bowled him. He's gone this time. I think he played it on. I think he thought he may have got an inside edge to charge and lead them home. But the crowd will stand to an absolutely extraordinary innings. The fastest hundred ever by a New Zealander. James Franklin's entitled to go hard at this. He does. It's a wide one. And that was motoring. And the Black Caps 285 for seven. No timing there, really, for Daryl Tuffy, but he just clears the circle. Brad Hogg was up inside. They'll get two. That's okay. Uh, that might go for four. In fact, it will. And out to luck. All of a sudden, it's quite a good over for New Zealand. 51 from 36. Bang! It's straight down the ground for another six. Another towering six. And 300 up for New Zealand. Country. Before this ball, I was about to say, made his, through, his way through to 60 without... Now, Daryl Tuffy, I'm not sure, has uh, got a race off. Yes, he's been given. Very late, just enough. And that's all it takes to take the edge. I think that's fair enough. Fair enough, he's out for eight. 303 for eight. Oh, that'll go for four. Outside edge. It wasn't a great delivery. It was an attempt at Yorker. And again, again, they might get two. Now Gilly Steele will come back. What a big over this has come from the unlikely hero. Oh, that's solid. That's four. That's magnificent down the ground. 
that wasn't really there for the shot. Inside edge, out of the screws. <laughs> Callum, look at the look on his face. Where'd you get that from? In the middle. Quick, and he's got it away. Can you believe that shot? You can't coach it, it's gold. And he's got it mastered. And he's done it. It wasn't bad, it was on target. He's just got down on it. Beautifully bowled, beautifully played, they'll run. They have to hit. He does hit mine, this could be out. This is brilliant work, and I think it's Voges again. I don't know if Gillespie was really putting in here. He was taking his time. I think he's going to be caught short, is he? Yes, he is. He's still done a marvellous job. He's out for 28. New Zealand are 339 for nine. Oh, they're going to go again. Oh, he picked it up. He had a chance to get McCullough. He fumbled. And the direct hit would have hit it. And then uh, the other man came and picked it up. Did a marvellous back flip. A flick. McCullum on strike. Could that be the turning moment? There's been some wonderful fielding. No. So Bracken, with all of his experience, will bowl it right up in the block hole. If he bowls it short, McCullum will hit him out of the park. And will he be patient to believe he can do it later in the over? Oh, that's bad. Bad for Australia. Great for New Zealand. He got it wrong. McCullum invented. He went outside off stump and he's hoisted him out of the ground. When he saw that go for six, McCullum, I think you'd almost see the adrenaline rush come out of his heart, almost popped out of his chest. He nearly fainted. The scores are tied and the Aussies all have to come inside the circle now. They all have to crowd and McCullum won't matter. He's got five deliveries to win this game through or over the field. Bracken with all his experience, the pressure went on him and he couldn't deliver the Yorker. It was knee high and now it's buried in the crowd. So Hussey brings them all in. Here we go. Bracken, McCullum charges, he doesn't need it, he knows it, he's got time. Unbelievable. There's McCullum again on strike to Bracken. He gets it over the top, it's through for four, and New Zealand have done it again. Can you believe it? Yes, they can now, they're a bunch of believers. They can win it from anywhere, and the World Cup now could well be their stage. Look at Michael Hussey, he couldn't defend in Auckland, he can't defend here. He knows it's been... An incredible performance. New Zealand down on strength. No Vittori, no Orem, no Bond. No, I don't know. How often is it McCullum was there at the end? How often in his role as a finisher of an innings?